You saw them get caught. The reason why I stopped is we're going 49 and 35. Now they get their day in court. I'm here to fight back. First, this Porsche owner's defense is going to the dogs. These guys were my witnesses when I got pulled up. I really think he might have been driving. Now he's bringing in a pit bull. Enter a plea of not guilty, ready for trial. <laughs> and then, this guy's got the need for speed. And your last ticket was 105 and a 55? I think so. And later, this U-turn driver claims she couldn't see the sign. It's actually directly above the light. Well, they put them above the lights because you're supposed to be looking at the lights, right? It's all next on Speeders Fight Back. You know what? F*** you. Hi, my name is Matthew, and I'm here at Traffic Court, and I'm here with my lawyer, and we're here to fight back. This is uh, my mom's 95 Saturn that I got pulled over in. My car was in the shop. It's a uh, 911 yellow Porsche. Uh, it's kind of ironic I get a speeding ticket in, in, my, in my mom's car, and I don't get ever pulled over in my Porsche. These guys were my witnesses when I got pulled over. I really think he might have been driving. He likes to drive. We got to go. We got to get our butts out of this ticket. I chose to use an attorney because I felt, you know, that they had the best chance of winning this court case. Let me back you up a second. He pulled you and someone else over at the same time? Yes. OK, this thing's a slam dunk. It's a winner. Great, great, right, so great. Got, That's why I'm at the ticket clinic. Let's do it, man. We're going to win it. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. It looks like I have a speeding ticket for you. Enter a plea of not guilty, ready for trial. Okay. Everybody's going to testify. Raise your right hand. Swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and the truth. So help you God. I do. Okay. Counsel, um, it looks like we have a speeding ticket on a laser. And what did you want to tell me about that? Judge, uh, we intend to prove uh, that uh, the state is unable to meet its burden to establish that the laser was properly calibrated under the uh, Florida Administrative Code, and further that the uh, officer failed to comply with 316-1905. Uh, regarding the clear assignment of speed to a single vehicle. And I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Bell to testify. Okay. Okay, will you, uh, do you recall uh, driving on this particular day of the citation? Yes, I do. Okay, tell me where you were going. Uh, I was taking my dogs to the groomer. Okay, and uh, how many dogs do you have? Three. Okay, and uh, is there normally a regular route that you take? Uh... Yes, and this particular day, um, due to a, a train that was stuck on the tracks, I got deterred to a road I normally don't travel, which was okay. Taft. And this, the road that you normally travel on, Sterling, uh, what's the speed limit there? 45 miles an hour. Okay. Did there come a time when you got stopped by an officer? Yes. Okay, and uh, tell me the facts and circumstances surrounding that. Uh, I, w I was driving, I, I was keeping up with the general flow of traffic, and all of a sudden I see a officer, and he points to the car that's in front of me and uh, waves him over. And then all of a sudden he takes an extra uh, quick step and points to me and to, makes me, tells me to go you know, behind that guy. Is it a fair statement to say that he pulled both of you over basically at the same time? Yes, he did. Did he have an opportunity to, to operate his speed measuring device, his radar or his laser on that person, signal him over, and then do the same to you? I, I don't think that's possible. It's like, you know, uh, the, the magic bullet in the Kennedy assassination. I don't, I don't see how he could, because after I was pulled over, I looked over my shoulder to see what was going on, and off the road, up on a uh, swell. On a grassy knoll? Grassy knoll, <laughs> exactly, a grassy knoll. There was a police car, and there was a gentleman there operating the radar. The radar gun. Right, so your, your perception was that this other officer was probably using the device and then talking to the one that was walking out in the street to stomp you? Correct. Okay. Now, finally, is there any way that the where the officer was located that he would have observed you drive past a posted speed limit sign? Oh, no, that was impossible because he was, uh, on again, on a grassy knoll. I mean, I didn't see the sign. It took me. I had to drive back a mile. I don't, you know. And it, actually go looking for looking it. Looking for it. And, okay. and, and it was tilted towards the north, so there's definitely, it wasn't straight up and down. Okay. So. We have nothing further, Judge. I have a motion for a, uh, a judgment of acquittal on a couple of grounds. Uh, most importantly, what really concerns me is the uh, 
is the stopping of two vehicles. Two vehicles were pulled over on one on one laser speed reading, and that that's improper. Further, Judge, uh, we'd suggest that the posted speed in this in this instance was not properly posted. It was more than a mile away, and it was defective. So on those two bases, uh, we would move to dismiss at this point, Your Honor. Okay. And as to the first argument, um, your counsel is correct. The law requires the officers to make a clear assignment of speed. I'm going to find that that argument is valid. So on that basis, I'm going to find you not guilty. You just need to pick up your paperwork and drive counsel. Thank you Thank very you, much. Thank you, Honor. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah! I'm really happy that I was able to uh, come to court today with Matt and uh, try this case with him. He did a great job, we did a great job, um, and uh, justice prevailed once again. I think the magistrate was very fair, she was attentive, and she listened to what I had to say, and uh, she, you know, and it's great that she found in our favor. We, we won, won, and we're, we're glad we fought, fought back. Coming up. This speeder plays coy. Did you have a speeding ticket before Officer Owens? Oh, yeah, I got one last year. But will Brenda discover his sordid history? In 2006, you had a speeding ticket. In 2007, you had a speeding ticket. In 2008, you had two speeding tickets so far. And later, this driver gives Brenda a laundry list of excuses. I gotta go to the bank. I gotta go get lunch. I have to pay bills. You know, I have two kids. I, there are certain things I have to take care of. <laughs> My name is John. I know that I was not speeding. That's why I'm here at the traffic court today to fight back. OK, I'm going to be pulling over a truck. This truck right here. We first met stay-at-home dad Jean when Officer Owens pulled him over for speeding. The reason why I stopped you is you were going 49 and a 35. So I'm getting the ticket. You're going to be receiving a citation for speeding 14 over the speed limit. Drive safely. Officer Owens, I see you in the car. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get into the courtroom and tell the judge exactly what happened. I was not speeding when the officer pulled me over. I had my daughter in the car with me at that time, but I will never speed while I have my kids in the car. And sir, are you prepared for trial? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, everybody's going to testify. Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes. Okay, officer, tell me what led you to write this gentleman a citation. The defendant was traveling southbound, subject vehicle, I estimated the speed, going approximately 50 miles per hour. He was actually going 49 in a 35. I captured him on the laser, 565 feet from my location. Okay, so why don't you tell me what happened? The thing is, I had my eyes in, my speed, uh, in, in the speedometer. I know that, you know, it was a 35 limit zone because I live right down a block. And then when the officer stopped me, I was shocked because I couldn't believe that, you know, that was me. Because I, I, know, I know for a fact that I was not speeding. Okay, so as I understand what you're saying is that you weren't speeding because you were watching your speedometer and it wasn't... I have my kids on, on the car also. My okay. daughter and my sister was in the car. I will never put them in danger because, you know, I'm not a workless driver. Did you bring me anything you wanted to show me? Yes. Your Honor. You brought me pictures? Okay, and this is? This is my son. He's all dressed up, he's cute. And this one? That's my daughter, she's eight. Very nice, okay. So Thank these you. are your children? Yes, Your Honor. And was there anything else you wanted to tell me? Actually, I live in the state for more than 10 years, and then it's like, you know, Where did you live before the states? I, uh, I'm from Haiti. Okay, and how is the driving different in Haiti? Uh, it's like over there, there is no speed limit and uh, oh. the traffic light is limited. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit different. How do you know how fast to go then if there's no speed limit? Oh, you got the speed limit. <laughs> you you just it. gauge yourself? Yeah, you gauge yourself, basically. Could it be possible then that on this particular day you were gauging yourself by the other vehicles? Not really. I've been driving for more than 10 years here, Your Honor, and it's only for the past years that you know, I've, I've been out of luck. <laughs> luck by what? <laughs> by having tickets. Did you have a speeding ticket before Officer Owens? Oh yeah, I got one last year. Last year? And then what about before that? Before that, no. So is speeding something you do once a year and then it's out of your system and 
You're okay? No, not really. I don't see it like that, Your Honor. In 2006, you had a speeding ticket. In 2007, you had a speeding ticket. In 2008, you had two speeding tickets so far. And your last one was 105 and a 55? I think so. All right, this is what the court's gonna do. I understand what you're telling me about that you don't believe you're going that fast, but it's not a legal defense to a laser ticket. So on that basis, I am going to find you guilty and it's going to be $475 and you're gonna to have to do 12 hours of driving school because I don't think that you understand how dangerous this really is. And you're very lucky that I didn't take your license completely because, I mean, this certainly is a case that's that, that could have happened. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh my God, I can't believe I just lost. But the thing is, the judge gave me a $475 fine. Hey, good thing though, I still have my license. If she had given him the additional four points, he would have lost his license and would not be able to drive for, I believe it's a 30 day mandatory suspension, but it could be up to a year. John threw himself on the mercy of the court and for his family's sake, mercy was shown. However, if he comes back in court again, without hesitation, I will take his license. You know, no more speeding. That's what I can say. Coming up, is this driver looking for her own personal bailout? I was on my lunch break, and these days and times, I can't afford to lose my job, so I gotta be, I gotta press myself for that 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm here in traffic court today because I got this U-turn ticket and I'm here to fight back. We got somebody who made a U-turn here where it's posted no U-turn. We first met single mom Heather when she was pulled over for breaking the law. How you doing? And apparently it wasn't the first time. When you made the U-turn back there, University Drive and Sunrise, it's posted no U-turn. I've made the U-turn almost every day. Been doing it wrong then. There's two citations. The first one's why I stopped you. You post no U-turn. The second one, I wearing a safety belt. Lucky me. Lucky you. I don't think this is fair. I'm going to take this to court, and I'm not paying for this. I brought my boyfriend, Tony, with me to traffic court today. I was on my lunch break. I went to run just to get me a quick soda, and all of a sudden, I'm getting pulled over. We got this. We're going to fight this. Yeah. We're going to fight this. Okay, and you are Heather? Yes, ma'am. And you are? Anthony. And were you in the car with Heather? No, I wasn't. I was on the phone with her. Okay. All right, Officer Vallejo and Heather, are you prepared for trial? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Officer, tell me what led you to write this young lady a citation. I observed a vehicle make a U-turn. I knew there was a sign posted there, no U-turn, so the vehicle went from west to east at which time I stopped the vehicle. While I was behind her, observed she didn't have her seatbelt on, so she was issued two citations for the U-turn and no seatbelt. Okay, so she was not wearing the seatbelt while she was driving? No, ma'am. And where is the no U-turn sign posted in this area? The no U-turn sign is posted right next to the traffic light that goes across the intersection. So it's up by where the light is? Yes, you can't help but see it when you look at the traffic light. All right, and Heather, you have any questions for the officer? Anything you want to ask him? Well, yes, ma'am. He had another person pulled over. Okay, when... he was on the side of the road? Mm -hmm. He had someone pulled over. Okay, did... Um, I did... had just cleared a stop, yes, ma'am. Okay. But I still, I saw the, the car. So you had a clear and unobstructed view of the other lanes? Yes, I did. All right, Heather, you want to tell me what happened? Uh, yes, ma'am. I was... On my lunch break, only have 30 minutes. I have a lot of things I have to do during that lunch, that 30 minute time. I gotta make it stretch. I gotta go to the bank. I gotta go get lunch. I have to pay bills, you know. I have two kids. I, there's certain things I had to take care of. I think he was mistaken. I don't think that he seen me correctly. Uh, when I was at that light, I was the first person at the light. Okay, so where you made the U-turn, was there a sign there? It's actually directly above the light. Okay. So Well, they put them above the lights because you're supposed to be looking at the lights, right? I okay. travel that area every day. 
I didn't, I've never seen that there. Most no U-turn signs are posted in the median. I honestly never knew that they put them over the lights. You've never noticed them? I've no never U-turn. noticed them, honestly. Or a right turn only sign, and any of those ab- kind of directions. Not above the lights, I always expect them to be in the median, and there was a median there. And what happened with the seatbelt? I was in a rush, ma'am. I mean, I'm not gonna, that's, mm-hmm. that's kind of hard to dispute. I was just really in a rush. I had to, you know, get back. I, and these days and times, I can't afford to lose my job, so I gotta be, I gotta press myself for that 30 minutes. All right, so having heard the evidence on behalf of the state and on behalf of the defense, and I understand what you're telling me, but it's not a legal defense to a U-turn ticket. I'm concerned on one hand because obviously I know you're in a time crunch and a lot of people are in the exact same position you are. Being in a hurry or being distracted also causes accidents. So on that basis, I'm gonna find that the state's met their burden of proof regard to this citation and find you guilty. I'm gonna take a look at your driving record. You do have a very good driving record. Thank you. So on that basis, it's $150. You'll have 60 days to pay. Okay. And this time you won't have any points. And on the seatbelt, you need to wear your seatbelt because you could be a good driver and you seem to pretty much be, except for this lapse in judgment, but God forbid somebody hits you. Yes, absolutely. And something could happen to you. Absolutely. Okay, so it's $100 on count two, and they're going to give you your paperwork. And please drive like your life depends on it, because it does. I cannot believe that she slammed us with both those tickets. The fact that she said she was going to the bank and trying to eat lunch, she was very, she was very distracted. And the sign is clearly marked right next to the traffic light. I'm pissed. I'm pissed, man. I cannot believe that this bitch gave me a $250 fine. You know what? you. I heard that Heather's personality did a 180 after leaving court. I hope that next time her personality and her car doesn't change directions unless there's a sign that says you can. Coming up, this defendant has a secret dream. At the time, I was trying to be a Miami Dade police officer. But will his past come back to haunt him? You've got one, two speeding tickets, also an improper turn, a reckless and a careless on your driving record. My name is Jason. I'm here at traffic court. I'm here to fight back. We first met Jason as he was flying down Flamingo Road on his way to the mall. I was pulled over by a Broward Sheriff's deputy. Speed limit was 50, and he said I was going over 80. I was just trying to keep up with the flow of traffic. At the time of the incident, I was driving my father's car. My dad stands behind me. He, he's a very forgiving guy. He's young. He's got to learn his way. Young people, that's the way they learn, like on their own mistakes. I don't think I was doing 50, but I wasn't doing 80. See you in traffic court. Jason, I have a speeding ticket for you. Are you prepared for trial? Yes, I am, Your Honor. Okay. Tell me what led you to write this gentleman a citation. I observed the defendant northbound on Flamingo Road. I estimated his speed to be about 78 miles per hour and followed it by a radar clocking of 88. I effected a traffic stop on the defendant and issued him a citation for going 88 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. Okay, why don't you tell me what happened? Okay, I was traveling to Sawgrass Mall, and I believe I was going at the flow of traffic. I may have been going a little over 50, but I don't believe I was going anywhere near 88 miles an hour, and there were other cars going faster than me. Okay, so you were traveling heading to the Sawgrass Mills Mall, which would be on Flamingo Road, and they said that you're going 38 over, which is very, very fast. So. As I understand your defense, or what you're telling me, is number one, you were going with the flow of traffic. Number two is that if you were going fast, you don't think you were going that fast. And there was something else you wanted to tell me? Yeah, there were other vehicles going faster. Okay, so why did he pick you? 
And that's we're not. Okay. So now that I understand your defense, Deputy, can you tell me how your radar operates and why it would not be the other cars on the road? Your Honor, I had a clear view of the defendant's car. There were no other cars around him. My radar unit also has the fastest speed mode, which allows me to pick up the fastest car in a group of three to four cars if they're in general proximity. However, he was the only car at that time doing 88 miles per hour. Okay, and Jason, is there anything else you wanted to add? Well, uh, yes. Um, I mean, I have had some citations in the past, but really I'm trying to improve my driving. At the time, I was trying to be a Miami-Dade police officer. So in your quest to be a police officer, you were extra careful in obeying the laws? Yes. Take a look at your driving record. 07 was not a good year for you. You've got one, two speeding tickets in 07. You have also an improper turn, a reckless, and a careless on your driving record. And then two other speeding tickets, your last one being a 76 and a 35. All right, having heard the evidence on behalf of the state and on behalf of the defense, I'm going to find that the state has met their burden of proof with regard to this particular citation. You are guilty, and he's got you 38 over, which is $375 plus cost. You'll have four points on your license, and you have 60 days to pay. They're going to give you your paperwork. Thank you very much. They ruled against me. I guess they saw my previous driving record and with the officer's testimony, they found me guilty. Going 30 miles over the speed limit is too fast, especially if you want to be an officer. I really didn't expect it to be this bad. I'm not really feeling too good about this because I thought I had a better shot. This wasn't my day. <laughs>